Known as the heart of Paris, Notre Dame, French for Our Lady, will be part of the city's stunning setting during next year's Olympics. The scars from the fire are still visible this morning, but the resurrection of this religious icon is well underway. The blaze back in April 2019 was devastating, destroying her famous ceiling, tearing through the interior of the church and spectacularly toppling the spire. Oh my God, this people just fell inside the church. <gasps> what? Oh my God. Since that day, the task of reconstruction has been colossal. Stone, wood, paint and glass. In this workshop, they are rebuilding parts of the ceiling, relearning techniques used by the original craftsmen centuries ago. It's the way it was done in the medieval times. Among them, Peter Henriksen, a carpenter from Minnesota who is here to lend his skills through a non-profit organization. Good, 5-2. Being a part of this is, is really amazing. Thinking about what carpenters were thinking about when they were originally doing it. Just a year before the fire, the Today Show got an exclusive tour of the cathedral. Are we going to run into Quasimodo? Ah, it's possible. <laughs> Michelle Picot, who leads fundraising efforts in the US, showed me around back then, up to the bell tower. Among the ancient rafters and inside the spire that would soon become a raging inferno. And this is what the inside of the cathedral looks like now. The race to restore her, a marathon. This week, I met Michelle Picard again, who says they can see the finishing line, though the inside will not be complete before the games. Will she look the way she did? Maybe she, better? She will look better. So the spire will be uh, rebuilt this year, and the roof will be rebuilt in 2024. So when the Olympics will uh, happen, you will see the cathedral from the exterior, I would say more or less as it was before the fire. Also returning to their home on top of the cathedral will be these 16 statues made of copper, now on display in the Paris Museum of Architecture. Incredibly, just four days before the fire, they were removed for some TLC, a lucky escape. It was a miracle, really. Yeah. Maybe the hand yeah. of God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a, a real miracle, because if they were not removed, uh, we... They wouldn't be here. No. And while the cathedral won't be open by next summer, down in the ancient crypt, visitors can experience Notre Dame through virtual reality. Wow, now I'm right at the entrance, but not in 2023, but 800 years ago. So real. <laughs> this immersive 3D marvel is the closest visitors to the games will come to the real thing and to the Olympic effort now underway to return it to the people of Paris. 550 million dollars, that's how much this restoration is costing. And you know, Savannah, uh, when I travel the world, I'm often just stunned by the generosity of Americans. Apart from the French, guess who is donating more to Notre Dame than, than anyone else around the world? It's the Americans. Okay, I'm proud of that. I'm very glad to hear that. When we saw you in the bell tower, like Quasimodo, the hunchback of Notre <laughs> yes. Dame here, yeah. we call you the hunk of Notre Dame. Oh, and, man. Right? Come it's on. a good line. Okay. You're killing me. And here. tomorrow you're going to show us some exclusive scenes from the Eiffel Tower that the public rarely gets. Yeah, to see. it's going to be absolutely beautiful. A, a view of the Eiffel Tower that you haven't uh, seen before, right from the bottom uh, to the top. And we're going to meet uh, a relative of the man who designed it, Gustav Eiffel. Yeah, it's so really, cool. really fabulous. This isn't a bad yeah. view. Either. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.